What is up, YouTube tool tubers of the world? My name is Brad. Welcome to the workbench, and it's the time I think everybody has been waiting for. I'm going to show you my top five absolute worst tools I've ever bought from Harbor Freight. No genres, no nothing. These are the ones that just flat out suck. Mama, me heart. I'd like to take this chance to apologize to absolutely nobody. You notice I've been running a series on my top five favorite things from Harbor Freight. I thought it wouldn't be fair just to show you the things that I enjoy from Harbor Freight. I also got to show you the things that I have personally bought that just did not work out. The first one is these file and rasp bits. Now I'm going to come behind the camera so I can make sure you can see them. But these things are just worthless. I have tried to put these in a drill. I've tried to put them in a die grinder. In a drill, they don't do shit. In a die grinder, they just burn up wood and these are not meant for metal at least not to my knowledge i would be scared to use something this spiky on metal these are not carbide burrs these are a shitty steel to begin with i mean i barely use these and they barely even have nubs on them anymore so do not buy these i don't care what kind of cell they're on these are trash <laughs> next up i don't have a good example of because well I don't like to throw things away. If you watch my channel, you know I am a definite cheap ass, which is probably why I go to Harbor Freight so much for any of my tools here at home. But the next tool did not work out even at home, and that's the Harbor Freight channel locks. These aren't the duals, these are the orange handle channel locks, and like I said, I pride myself on finding a use for every tool, and these have been used to get parts out of muriatic acid. But there's a reason I use these to get parts out of muriatic acid because that's the only good use I could find for them. These are definitely past their time. In fact, <coughs> I can smell the muriatic acid coming off of them. So we're just gonna get those out of here. So yeah, the Harbor Freight channel locks, don't waste your time. The teeth are weak. They just have too much flex in them. I understand a long handled pair of pliers is gonna have flex but not like this they shouldn't be that bad go ahead and spend the money to get you some doils or if you got a few dollars more go with the almighty channel lock America, yeah. the next two i'm going to mention before i get to the tools that really really pissed me off is the harbor freight mini bench grinder with flex shaft i've already done a review on this tool because it was so bad i didn't want anybody out there to risk buying it but i was lucky enough to figure out how bad this tool was within the 90 days so i was able to return it which is why i don't have one here to show you the tool just didn't perform i understood when i bought it it was going to be a very weak tool but it was just so weak i, I couldn't find a reason to keep it i could not find a use for it if you want to see a pretty funny review in my opinion go watch that one paul abdul makes a few appearances so the mini grinder with flex shaft Eh, don't waste your money my last two tools are the worst kind of bad harbor freight tools they're the ones that will last 91 days and then die on you which is why i never review a harbor freight tool as soon as i get it because you never know the centec battery charger this thing just pissed me off the thing that sucks about this tool here isn't that you get probably 16 gauge cable on here it's not that these are so shitty i can deal with that i knew i was buying a cheap ass tool it's the fact that i bought this used it one time to jump off my lawnmower put it in storage for 91 days get it out again and the damn thing don't work it's been inside hasn't been out in the weather hasn't got rained on worked one time needed it again three months later and it's dead I have been keeping this in a bucket just to warn you guys not to buy this piece of shit. Now my last worst tool from Harbor Freight is the kind that I thought was going to be a winner. I used it a handful of times. It was doing good. I thought I had found a way to get a variable speed grinder for like 30 bucks, which if you ever looked at variable speed angle grinders, they're expensive as hell. But this Chicago Electric 7 inch variable speed buffer, I thought I was a genius. You know, it's got a 5 8 11 thread like any angle grinder, so you can put a nut on here, no problem at all. And I used it for wood carving. Now, could this be my fault? This is a buffer, 
maybe the gearbox doesn't have the components inside necessary for some torque but I was using this for the delicate work when I was doing the wood carving because it's a slow speed you know when I wanted to really gouge out material I used that big hog of a seven inch grinder but this one I used for the dainty stuff I needed a slow speed went from like a thousand or maybe 500 to 3500 rpm which was perfect I love this thing I used it probably five or six days in a row put it up on my shelf wanted to do something else with it I think I was gonna sand something with it because it's a buffer sander and uh, turned it on and I get nothing no display no hum no nothing so I don't know what's wrong with it I haven't dived into it it was $30 it's not worth my time to try to fix a $30 polisher sander maybe it was my own fault maybe I shouldn't use it the way I did but I just wanted to give you all the warning this is one of those tools that was working fine until about the fifth time I tried to go use it and then it was just DOA toast so the Chicago electric 7 inch polisher sander I wouldn't go for it guys well that brings the series to an end my top five from harbor freight series it's kind of sad but to be honest with you i'm gonna look forward to getting back to some more non-harbor freight videos we got some other tools coming up that i think are going to be well worth looking at but as always i appreciate you sticking around to the end hope you haven't wasted your money on these tools like i have if there's another tool that you have wasted your money on and you want to warn people not to buy leave a comment down below i'm sure there's a lot of them out there that i just haven't even got to yet and i hope i don't have to until next time hit that like button hit that subscribe button down there and i'll holler at y'all next time peace we all love channel lock Better get the fuck out of here. Goddamn mouse trying to come up in my shop. Goddamn mouse trying to come up in my shop. Get the fuck in front of me. Get in there. Fucking hey, it's fucking hot and humid. It's fucking April. Fuck, it's hot. Sweating my goddamn balls off in here. Fuck, I'm sweating. I gotta hurry up so I can get the air back on. <laughs>